this lecture describes the uh, shape or shifting of Borrelia. The uh, typical Borrelia spirochete is uh, thought to be spiral and uh, modal. Uh, there are many images and textbooks which uh, say that the only form that's real is a spiral form. This uh, video will show you the uh, other forms which are legitimate, which are not uh, the uh, typical uh, corkscrew shape, uh, and uh, will illustrate cystic, uh, granular, and blood forms. So here we have the spiral form, which uh, is the perfect uh, corkscrew form seen in all the textbooks. When uh, this the spiral goes into tissue, uh, the infected uh, tissue has spirochetal forms that do not look spiral anymore. Uh, that's because spirochetes don't read the textbooks and they have many forms they can assume. So, the unknown shapes are the shapes we'll talk about in the lecture. It lose the expectation of spiral as the form that we will see in tissue and will acquire a new visual vocabulary. The actual form, the actualites in French of the spirochetal form, are multiple and are difficult to uh, keep uh, all together in mind if you've not been introduced to them. Here's an introduction. The uh, cystic form is one of the variants. It's legitimate, it's real, it contains all the DNA of the spiral form. Within the cysts are little dot-like structures which are called granules. This is an expanded uh, image of the granular form of the spirochete. This granule contains all of the DNA of the spiral form and under appropriate conditions can, in the laboratory, reform the spiral form. So, uh, cystic forms of Borrelia, first in the imprint cytology, stained with monoclonal antibodies, will glow if the right protein is recognized by the monoclonal antibody here. A Borrelia-specific antibody will only recognize Borrelia, not E. coli, not Candida, not human cells. It will only recognize Borrelia. The structures were glowing brightly, so it has lots of the protein. Looking into the tissue of the silver stain, we see a cystic form, which is this stained with silver. And you see it has a wrinkle associated with it. That means that it was once larger, it's now shrunk in size a little bit. It contains all of the DNA that this form, the cystic form, contains. From the work of Dr. Brosen, we see that the cystic forms may have little content or may have dense content within the structure of the cyst. The uh, darkly staining structures may look like uh, degenerating human cells. So here's one cyst with a dark uh, content within the cyst. Here's another cyst with dark content and with little smaller granular forms. Then I call your attention to what's inside the red star area. This will be introduced in the next slide. These are mystery structures right now, but we'll find out what they are. This slide shows the cystic forms, very large. The spiral form, look at the diameter. This diameter is very small compared to the diameter of the cyst. And then the small mystery forms are actually what we call minute blebs of the liposomes. These blebs contain DNA of the Borrelia spirochete. The cysts contain DNA of the spirochete. And of course, the spiral form contains DNA of the spirochete. Here is a cyst, again, from a study with a monoclonal antibody, H9724. Only Borrelia will pick this up. It's wrinkled. It once was larger. It has become raisinoid, just as a grape uh, becomes a raisin when you remove the water from it. And it's wrinkled. And here, a final summary slide showing that the cystic forms, uh, if uh, produce, uh, allowed to produce uh, in culture, will uh, form spiral forms as they have here. And then the spiral forms could be any spirochete, but with the use of monoclonal antibodies, in this case, monoclonal H5332, which only stains Borrelia burgdorferi, you can see that the spiral forms here, more spiral than here, this is on, on coil, uh, stain with monoclonal antibody. And definitely prove that they are Borrelia or Dorferi. 